Today on Funky Pearls Radio, we delve into the life of Jermaine Jackson, a key figure in the Jackson family and a remarkable talent in his own right, whose journey is a blend of soulful artistry and personal triumphs. Born Jermaine LeJohn Jackson on December 11, 1954 in Gary, Indiana, Jermaine's musical journey began in the shadows of his younger siblings, Michael and Janet Jackson, and as part of one of the most famous families in soul and pop music. An accomplished bass player and vocalist, Jermaine's contributions to music extend beyond his role in the Jackson Five. Jermaine's early years were marked by his involvement in the Jackson Five, where he initially served as the lead singer before Michael took over in 1968. Despite this change, Jermaine's vocal prowess shone through on tracks like I Found That Girl. His marriage to Hazel Gordy, daughter of Motown Records founder Barry Gordy, further intertwined his fate with the iconic label. In 1975, Jermaine embarked on a solo career, distinguishing himself with his soulful style. His rendition of Daddy's Home in 1972 showcased his ability to imbue classic songs with a fresh, emotive quality. Albums like Jermaine, 1972, and Come Into My Life, 1973, further established him as a solo artist to watch. Jermaine's decision to stay with Motown when the Jackson 5 moved to Epic Records was a turning point in his career. It allowed him to explore his musical identity independently, leading to albums like My Name is Jermaine, 1976, and Feel the Fire, 1977, which featured a mix of futuristic sounds and soulful ballads. The late 70s and early 80s were a period of significant artistic growth for Jermaine. His 1979 album, Let's Get Serious, produced in collaboration with Stevie Wonder, became a major success. The title track and other songs like Where Are You Now highlighted Jermaine's versatility and appeal. Jermaine continued to evolve musically with albums like I Like Your Style, 1981, and Let Me Tickle Your Fancy, 1982, experimenting with different genres and collaborating with artists like Switch. His move to Arista Records in 1983 marked a new chapter with the release of Jermaine Jackson, 1984, featuring the hit Do What You Do. The late 80s and early 90s saw Jermaine maintaining his musical relevance. Albums like Precious Moments, 1986, and Don't Take It Personal, 1989, featured hits that resonated with audiences, blending contemporary sounds with his soulful roots. Jermaine's last album to date, You Said, 1991, showcased his ability to adapt to the evolving music scene, featuring modern production and collaborations. Beyond music, Jermaine ventured into television, producing The Jacksons and American Dream in 1992, and appearing in Celebrity Big Brother UK in 2007. Jermaine's role within the Jackson family took on new significance following the death of his brother Michael in 2009. As a spokesperson and pallbearer, Jermaine honored his brother's legacy with dignity and grace, performing Smile at Michael's funeral, a poignant tribute to a beloved sibling. As we explore Jermaine Jackson's story on Funky Pearls Radio, we celebrate a musician whose soulful contributions to R&B are as profound as his journey through life. From the heights of fame with the Jackson 5 to his solo endeavors and family tribulations, Jermaine's legacy is a testament to resilience, talent, and the enduring power of music.